This is the first of a series of videos I call uh, CAX, C-A-X, for C-Sharp, ADO.net, and XML. And we're actually not going to get to XML for a while. We're going to concentrate on the design and the user interface in the early videos. And we're also going to look this video at the data structures uh, used to uh, represent the data behind the scenes. Specifically, we're going to look at uh, structs, uh, S-T-R-U-C-T, which is uh, short for structure, which is a, an old C structure. When I first started programming, uh, C was just called C, and the idea of objects was years in the future. And the struct was really just a collection of fields like a record and a database but now structs are more or less like classes and that you can instantiate objects on them and you can have methods that get called and especially for the pr our purposes you can have a constructor which is called when the uh, object is first instantiated And beyond structs, we're going to look at array of structs, which uh, is uh, a number of structs that are in a collection that are related to each other. And basically what that means is if a struct is, you can be thought of as a record, then an array of structs is like a table. And in fact, that's exactly what we're going to emulate with that structure. A table, in fact, several tables that relate to each other and sort of a pseudo relational database manner. This is an example of a array of structs program. As you can see it's a console program rather than a IDE oriented program. We have the public static void main standard hook to start it running in the console and then up above we have the structure itself which is public struct book. All well, this is a structure. And in the early days I was talking about all that would be in this structure would be this portion here, which is the actual data, which is set up like a record. And you wouldn't need the public access specifiers or anything. But in the modern times when uh, we treat a struct like it's a class and we instantiate it. We need a constructor, which is this portion here, which basically is accepting parameters and assigning values to the data members or the attributes of the structure. By convention, I'm using an underscore to indicate a parameter to the constructor and in this portion we're assigning the uh, the parameters to the data member values and if you look down at this portion in the the main of the program this is the real secret basically we say book array which says it's an array of structs and then we give it a name in this case McGee and then we have an initializer list which is indicated between these uh, curly braces. And then for each new struct element we need to have a new operator that says new book and then the three parameters to the new book call the constructor and initialize the, that element's uh, data members or attributes. And then below, just to show it worked, we have a couple statements that are writing out the values of the array of struct members. And you notice the way you specify a, an array of struct members is you have the name and index indicating which array element it is, and then a dot, and then the data member name. 
Well, that pretty much covers the uh, array of structs concept of the uh, the CAX series of videos, the C Sharp ADO.net XML series of videos. The next video, I talk about another key element of how to put this all together, which is how to add a new class to uh, to a project. So I'll see you in uh, CAX 2, the next in this series of videos. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and remember to focus and learn a lot.